Hey guys, so I just walked to the end of my street and I planned to make a vlog and then I realized that I was right in front of a very busy street and it was super annoying and now I'm sitting on my porch and it's also kind of annoying so sorry if you hear a bunch of stuff. This is my roommate's dog. She's really really weird and she doesn't even play with my dog. Um, so yeah, I have a lot I want to talk about, I guess. Not really, actually. Um, so I start my new job tomorrow, and then I also find out tomorrow if I got um, the job that I interviewed for on Monday. So I might have two jobs, that would be really awesome. Also I was wearing a sweater, and it was way, way too hot, so I had to take it off, so I'm sorry. Um, Usually I'm really self-conscious, but I'm on my porch and I don't care and I'm wearing I'm wearing high-waisted leggings, so Probably won't be filming on my porch ever again um, Partly what I want to talk about is um, How you shouldn't be like trying your hardest to impress other people not impress but trying your hardest to befriend people um if you don't feel like a friendship is gonna work or if like if you're just not feeling right about it don't try to like force yourself upon them or like ask them what's wrong that tends to push people away more if you're like questioning them like hey you know what's wrong do you dislike me are you annoyed by me most of the time i've realized that's like not the case at all and once you do say that to somebody, they're like kind of annoyed. They're like, really? You're gonna assume that I just don't like you. And so I've been coming across that a lot lately. Um, to the point where I just don't say anybody, anything to anybody anymore. Like I feel horrible and I finally realized how annoying I've been. So yeah, I just, instead of like being like, hey, you know, sorry, I realize I've been annoying and I shouldn't have like assumed so much. Instead of even saying that, I just don't say anything to them at all and just hope that I didn't totally ruin their image of me or other people with anxiety, stuff like that. I don't know, I tend to just back off a lot more these days. Um, and I really, really wonder about people, like how they are, do they like really hate me? Is that why they stop talking to me? Like, I just don't understand, but honestly I don't want to, I guess. Like, if they really hate me enough to just drop me off the face of the planet after I talked about that being a problem that I have, clearly that's not somebody who wants to be around me and who knows that I have that issue because they aren't somebody who's gonna stick around and who didn't plan on it. It's really weird because I only get attached to people who do act like that, who act like they're gonna be there for you all the time. So like every friendship that I've had in the last like while has been like that like I'm like oh okay so they say they're gonna be there for me they say that we have so much in common and like we have so much plans for the future and we're just gonna have so much fun as friends during the summer and then once I start to believe that and once I start to get happy and excited about those things it goes to shit and they like literally just hear something about me or assume something about me see some I don't know what but people just really 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 get put off by me at some point so I just got really really self-conscious even just saying that because anybody who watches this anybody remotely close to me if you even watch these I just feel like I put people off so much but I'm becoming a lot more okay with that and it's actually pretty freeing just being by myself all the time and being happy that way. I mean, it does suck because the way that people look at me and people judge me, they assume that I'm some like crazy like partier or something. And so people do like assume the wrong things about me, but what can you do? That's why I do like wish that there were more private spaces in society, like where I didn't have to go places and worry about people like staring at me or people judging me or assuming things like I just wish there was like a store for people like me like I could go in and just not worry and not feel so judged and I guess 
I shouldn't have moved to such like a busy area, but I'm really used to it. I never thought I would be able to like live in a, the area that I do, but surprisingly it's not that bad and it's helped me come out of my comfort zone. And it's also making me realize how much I don't like being forced to talk to people. And like with that, I mean, my dog goes up to so many people all the time and just forces me to talk to people, like especially guys. Like I don't want to talk to random guys. I don't like talking to strangers and I don't like how guys treat me when they see me. Like they, they just, I don't know, every guy's different obviously, but a lot of guys are like, whoa, that chick's fucking weird. You know, she has purple hair or whatever. I don't care honestly what your opinion is. I just don't want to have to talk to you knowing your opinion. Like my dog has already jumped up on you and like, like you've already started petting her and you, I can tell that you think I'm weird. Like, so it's just awkward. Like they're like, oh, she's adorable. You know, and they like act like they're nice. And I just have to be like, yeah, she does this to everybody. Like she, she would leave me for any person that she comes across. She just would follow them and leave me and not care that I'm left behind. Um, so like, yeah, I, I don't know. I'm really sick of like people talking to me and like acting like they're gonna care about me and then just realizing that I, I'm an actual real person and I, I want an actual friendship. Like I don't, I'm not one of those fake people who wants to talk to you for like a week, get what I want out of you and then never talk again. That's a, that's not who I am. So I'm meeting a lot of people who are like that and then it just completely doesn't work out and then I'm just alone again. And I'm back to like, why did I waste my time? Why am I so myself? Also, here's another thing that I really wanted to talk about. People say that when you act, when you're, when you're okay with yourself, when you have confidence, when you start being yourself and not caring what people think and not caring when people judge you, people say that the right people will come along and everything will go well for you and you'll get, you know, the right people around you, the right friends. Ever since I've gotten self-confidence, even remotely, everybody around me has fucking hated me. Not everybody, but literally, like, every... A lot of the people from my hometown, a lot of the people who I've known growing up my whole life, who know every single person around me, who know my family, who know my sister, everybody, like, hates me, dude. Like, they think that I'm some fucking attention-seeking... I don't know what, but a lot of people in that town don't even know me. I've never hung out with them because I was never social. And I don't want to be, and I'm not, like... I don't like to drink and I don't like to go to parties and I don't like to do a lot of stuff with a lot of people. So it blows my mind that a lot of people judge me and hate me and think that I'm like really weird because then it makes me feel like, like really weird and makes me feel like I shouldn't be myself and I shouldn't put myself out there. But also it pushes me further to continue to do that because I really just want those people to disappear. I don't want judgmental people looking at my stuff and judging me like if you're gonna not like me why are you looking at my stuff why do you care what I'm doing why do you feel the need to make me feel bad when I'm finally comfortable when I'm becoming comfortable you feel like m making me not comfortable again you have no idea wh what it was like when I was entirely uncomfortable with everything and I hated everything about life and now that I finally am starting to love life people just want to knock you down from that and so I just want to say to anybody who really is f coming out of their shell and starting to love themselves, please try not to let other people get to you. Like, yeah, you being positive is supposed to attract other positive people, but that's not always the case. And it often brings a lot of haters and a lot of people who literally just are really jealous of you, no matter what the case is. Like, you shouldn't be jealous of me, no matter what you see, because my mind is, like, terrible. It's so hard having severe anxiety and trying to live life as a 22 year old woman so you shouldn't be jealous of me so people who are jealous of things that they assume like they assume your life is perfect or whatever they want to assume about you don't let that really get to you you can't let that get to you those people do not have their own lives and they aren't close 
to what you're close of, to what you are capable of, which is loving yourself, they, they haven't even gotten that spark yet. So just don't judge them for being judgmental. That's, that's their own problem, and they're at that stage of life right now, and you are way past that stage of life. So you can't be hurt by those people because you have to know that they're the ones hurting right now. So even if they're really trying to hurt your feelings and even if they do hurt your feelings, please don't let that get to you. Don't let it eat at you every day. Don't, just don't. So I do have to say that before you do get good people friends and before you are surrounded by good people who love you, you're gonna be alone for who knows how long. Um, and it really does suck but that really is the only way for you to connect with yourself, with your soul, and with the universe the way that you need to properly in order to get the right people. And that's taken me a long time to fully process and it still is processing with me um, because not having anybody, not really having people to talk to and feel like they're listening, um, getting close to people and just losing them, um, it's really hard and it's it's sent me to, like down a lot of deep depression holes um, that I just bring myself out of and then like I'll wake up one day and it's a lot worse like I'll wake up with painful anxiety that I'll just like feel nauseous from and then like the rest of the day will be better like you just you never know how it's gonna be when you don't have a lot of support around you so just be there for yourself try your hardest to be strong for yourself because you cannot expect others around you to do anything and it's not about coddling it's not about people you expecting people to coddle you it's literally about not having support and people not understanding you it really is hard from your own point of view it's hard and i know a lot of people don't want to understand a lot of people want to make you feel horrible about yourself for having problems and that makes it worse that makes it so much worse for you and it makes you so much more alone and it makes you feel so wrong about yourself and who you are and you shouldn't feel that way so i know right now it feels like nobody's there for you and nobody understands but just wait just become comfortable with yourself try your hardest start doing things that you enjoy and things will start going right for you stop thinking constantly about other people how you look to other people how you look on social media and just get off your phone Start doing things for yourself and you'll start realizing what you love and what you love to do and yeah, you'll become more independent and then you won't worry as much as judgmental people. Like me, for instance, a couple years ago I never did anything and I sat in my room all the time and I lived in Cheyenne, Wyoming. Now I live in Colorado. I have... piercings on my face and purple hair and I'm sitting on my patio in a sports room and that was the maintenance guy and it was really awkward and I still kept on vlogging so anybody who has confidence issues just know things are painful but if you do not do the things that you want to do and you do not take chances then life it just isn't fun and honestly I'm realizing like things like this awkward moments and like putting myself out there it like sends a thrill through you and it's yes it's embarrassing and yes it's awkward but it's also hilarious and fun and just thrilling so try more things um I don't really know what else to say so thank you for watching have a good day have a good night whatever you're doing thank you so I want to say don't have any shame about like your opinions and how you feel about things. Um, I know I said in one of my videos like I really liked somebody and stuff and it like caused a ruckus and I still don't have any shame about it. Like people can have their opinions on me. I don't understand what like opinion that could possibly bring up with people but people genuinely dislike me enough to take my opinion and take my embarrassment and take my weirdness and just blast it to the world. So go ahead, like obviously I'm doing that myself. I am 
putting my thoughts on the internet so like obviously I don't care if people know like and that's a fact that a lot of people that knew me they did know so I thought like it'd be funny to just share it and honestly it is pretty funny to me still like no shame no embarrassment I mean yes embarrassment but like I'm I would do it again